all right hello guys welcome back to the channel so as you can see the car is almost done um pretty much all I have left it's just the quarter panels the rear bumper and same thing with the front bumper so i did actually do the side skirts um side skirts was pretty much easy um i didn't think i had to i guess make a video out of it but i will definitely show a video of how to remove them pretty much showing like where exactly the screws are located and some um clips underneath these high skirts where you just pretty much have to apply it out and it'll pretty much get removed but for today's video um it's going to be mainly the quarter panel so today i will be doing the quarter panel pretty much gonna be cleaning it cleaning it out and using the knife as tape as well to cut around the roof especially around the door jam so this is actually a little bit um, more easier because it's just a flat panel but when it comes to the, around the windshield uh, molding you do have to be careful with this because you don't want to break it but with this it's just like tabs holding it you just have to like carefully like pull it up and it'll come out um, and also for the rear um, to tuck in the wrap around here I will be actually removing my um, tail lights for both sides just so I can tuck it in nicely and slightly remove or open the rear bumper so I can tuck it in but overall it's just gonna be really simple um, again the panel the quarter panel is pretty flat just some slight curves on there but that's not a big deal it's pretty similar to the doors but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that and hope you guys enjoy the whole process of the quarter panel all right, so for the first part, um, I usually like to slightly remove the window molding. So it's just tabs holding it again. So you just have to like hold it on one angle, like kind of like forward and it'll just pop out. That's pretty much um, how I usually like just have it removed too. Um, Cause for this, all, you, all I'm gonna really do is just like pretty much just like um, tuck it in through here. Not gonna really like fully tuck it in. It's just like gonna be like a nice clean cut around here. So that's all it needs to tuck around. Cause overall, just it's just this guard that's gonna cover it once you place it back in, and the wrap's gonna be pretty much like nicely evened out. So. That's really how you remove the um, the window molding. Um, again, just carefully like pull pull it like towards you, and it'll just like tap out. So the next thing now is gonna be pretty much to remove the tail light. So for the tail light, it's pretty simple. Um, it's just two 10 mils holding it. So just gotta remove these two right here. So you're probably wondering why I don't have the little cover behind this. Um, that's because I did not order it for the um, 2017 and plus um, IS tail lights. So these are actually conversions. They're not the OEM ones that came with my car originally. So I just thought I don't need those covers. So it's the only reason why I do not have the covers for this part. Usually there's a cover, if there's a cover, um, pretty much you just have to remove it and Again, same thing. There's just gonna be two tabs behind that. But once that's removed, I usually like to pretty much just disconnect the whole tail light wiring, which is this one right here. So hold it and it comes out. It's just this part. And once you have that removed, it's just like little slight tabs holding it. Just wanna slide it off. And there we go. And that's it. Comes out pretty, really easy. Usually it's just this tab holding it, and then I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. It's just like one slight tab holding it, and then the two mil right here, and then disconnect the whole wiring for the tail lights. Again, that's how you remove the tail lights for the quarter panel sides for both um, passenger and driver side. All right, so I pretty much have the um, window molding kind of loose have the passenger side tail light out and I also have the knife as tape pretty much running around the door jam so I'm not sure if you can see it so pretty much from there 
all the way to the back rear door all the way here so this is where I pretty much have it curved um, only so because when you close the door you could kind of still see the, like the white inner jam as well so I don't want to really show that while I wrap the car so I actually want it to like you know pretty much go around here all the way down there to finish it off but that's where the nicest tape is gonna be and then same thing I'm gonna actually place a nice tape right here on the roof just so it can be like a nice straight line as well but once that's applied um, the rear I mean not the rear the passenger quarter panel is pretty much ready to be wrapped Alright guys, so the quarter panel passenger side is pretty much done. Um, around the tail lights, I already tucked it in. Same thing with the roof. Use the knifeless tape to cut it nicely straight. And with the door jam part, pretty much use the knifeless tape as well. So as you can see, I just did it a nice straight line on the door jam. So pretty much I just did it like up to here in order for whenever I close the door you won't really see it like the white paint so overall it's looking good so far so this side especially it's pretty much done I just need to do the driver side now and the whole quarter panels is done with the driver side the only difference is that I'll just have to cut around around the um, gas door and that's no difference though it's pretty easy I'll just have to tuck it in nicely around the gas tank and then same thing just put another vinyl wrap on top of the gas door but that's pretty easy so for this I already have the knife tape pretty much ready straight line same thing with the door jam right here so yeah it's pretty much ready to be wrapped so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now all right so I do have the vinyl wrap pretty much pre-cut um, so one other thing is that um, on the previous clip when I did the passenger side um, I did have my doors closed so you do want to actually have it, the doors open just so it's a lot more easier when tugging in the door pillars inside so when you have it closed it's going to be a lot more harder um, to open your doors because 
of the amount of tension that the wrap's gonna have. Once you lay it and the door's still closed, it's just gonna be kind of impossible to open it. Luckily, um, that didn't happen to me. I found a way to open it. But yeah, that's just one important thing when wrapping the quarter panels. Definitely have the doors open. It'll help you, save you a lot of time. But anyways, let's just get to it and then wrap the quarter panels. I do have the driver's side done. It's looking so much better now. All I really need is just the rear bumper and same thing with the front bumper. Those are the only two pieces I need left in order to complete this whole wrapping process. But so far, I've made a lot of progress. And yeah, doing it alone is not, I guess, easy at the same time because you had to pull down everything yourself. But you know, I did have my girlfriend help me with the hood. But anyways, the rest is just like time consuming. For these side skirts, um, as you can see, I already have it done. I kind of did it before the um, quarter panels. But anyways, the side skirts just have like one 10 mil right here. Same thing with the front, has another 10 mil. I do not have it here just yet because um, I plan to actually have like a um, carbon fiber splitter and same thing with the front and the rear. So that's gonna be coming up in the next few videos. That's gonna be a whole complete, like, I guess, carbon fiber add on to the car. But that's the reason why I haven't added those yet. Um, same thing with the bottom. There are like small little clips that you have to ply out for these side skirts. There's like, I think, one, two, three, I think at least eight per side skirt and also not to mention so for this part as you can see i did use the knifeless tape as well for this but in order to remove the side skirts completely you do, you do need to tap this out behind this little cover there's going to be like a phillips screw it's a really small phillips screw so there's going to be one there and same thing with the passenger side pretty much you just have to take that other tab out and there's another uh, Phillips screw behind that. Once you remove that, um, again, it's just clips holding the side skirts. You just slightly um, pull it out and the whole side skirt basically re gets removed. Um, you do have to have both doors open. Um, that's the only way you can really remove the side skirts. But anyways, yes, both quarter panels are done. Car is almost done. Really liking the whole progress so far. Can't wait once it's all done. And I think in the next video, I believe I will show you guys the whole process of the rear bumper and the front bumper together. Um, 
front bumper would be a little tricky because it has this I guess weird design whatever you want to call it around the fog light especially so I'll have to kind of like I guess get an idea how I'm gonna wrap that um, I haven't seen yet anybody wrap it online so that's gonna be in a, something I have to figure out myself um, rear bumper is pretty self-explained it's just really flat you just have to pull it but yeah but anyways to end this video I really hope you guys enjoy the whole quarter panel wrap for both sides.